But yeah, why would I do? Why would I do anything else with these carrot tops, right? Uh, you know, why wouldn't I use them as a mulch? Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and uh, I thought I'd do a, a short video here uh, talking about mulch because people are, are always asking me, what's the best mulch? Is it seaweed? Is it grass? Is it wood chips? Is it hay? Uh, we are so preconditioned to believe the snake oil salesman. I have often thought of doing a, a video where I dress up like the late great pitchman Billy Mays to talk about wood chips. Um, as the, the, the greatest mulch in the world. Um, it, it's such a ridiculous way of thinking and I'm not, I'm subject to it too. I'm not judging anybody out there. What's the best thing? Um, there is, it, it just doesn't make sense to think that way. Uh, any mulch will do. Any mulch, if it goes in one end of a worm and goes out the other end of the worm, it's good stuff. It's going to be good stuff eventually. And uh, I was thinking that just as I was harvesting these carrots here because I'm literally using the carrot tops as a mulch. I can pull the carrot. You can see all this stuff here. This, this is all uh, carrot tops and, and whatever, whatever weeds, uh, you know, happen to uh, uh, take, up, uh, take up shop in this, in this garden here. Some of these are small, some of them are big. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting some carrots for uh, a meal here and uh, just sort of pulling everything I see as I go. And just laying it right next to where I pulled it from. That's also how I can tell what I've harvested and what I haven't harvested. Right, I'm just working my way uh, across the garden, pulling basically anything that's growing, and just laying it right next to where it had been. Um, when I'm all done, I'll cover this whole thing with some leaves and just leave it like that for the winter, and uh, that should uh, solve any problems it might have. But yeah. Why would I do? Why would I do anything else with these carrot tops, right? Uh, you know, why wouldn't I use them as a mulch? Uh, for the life of me, uh, someone might say, "Oh, there could be a pest. There could be a problem." Yeah, but I'm not planting carrots in this garden next year. It's another uh, advantage of, of moving your stuff around, right? So you pull the weeds, and you you know you harvest whatever you're harvesting, and you just sort of spread that stuff. <laughs> on top of everything <laughs> and uh, you yeah, know like there's a good size uh, clover leaf right um, so I'm just laying it on top like this it's gonna you know just be out in the sun it's gonna die um, perfectly good mulch perfectly good mulch and this time of year you know like in the summer and, and maybe even early fall um, you know I, I pull the carrots uh, sort of every other one to thin them out but uh, this time of year, I mean, they're still growing, but they're they're not growing a whole lot, I don't think. Uh, but they do improve in flavor this time of year. Uh, so now I can sort of systematically just work myself, work my way uh, across the garden and, and, and pull them and just lay the tops down because it makes a fine mulch. Also, if you think about it, you know, you're putting something back into the soil. The carrot took something out of the soil and you're putting some of that back by throwing the tops back on top, right? Certainly you're getting some uh, nitrogen there. So anyway, just a quick note on that. Why not use the foliage of the plant as, it's a, as a mulch for that soil once that garden's done? I got a parsnip bed right there. When I pull the parsnips, I'll just lay the tops down in the garden. And it's kind of like chop and drop, right? Um, for anything for that matter, right? If it's, if it's that sort of a thing, if it's not going to uh, feed uh, too many p problematic pests, why not just throw it back, right back on top? Uh, I'm not suggesting this is something that, that it's an experiment for me. I've been doing this all along. I just never thought to make a video of it. <laughs> it's just always made sense to me, right? The mulch is right there. Well, why would I go driving out to the countryside to get bales of hay when I could just use this stuff? It's right here. It's good stuff. <laughs> so, uh, hope you found it interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. Until next time, get out there, get at it. Have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.